This video is sponsored by Aura. At the end of the video, I'll talk about the amazing wellness app that has helped me fall asleep faster and wake up refreshed. Today I thought I'd share my current evening routine while renovations are going on in my apartment. I'm having a team of contractors here ripping out the kitchen to then put it back together again. The reason for this is that it was so poorly assembled, so everything was crazy crooked and uneven. A bro job, as someone said in a comment. Having not had access to my kitchen for a while has meant that the rest of my apartment is a bit of a mess. Because the kitchen was completely dismantled, my desk is currently in the living room. I usually end my workday with an hour or so of catching up on the afternoon's emails and finishing off any other admin. My mom's estate is being finalized, so I've had quite a lot of digital and physical paperwork with authorities, realtors and banks, as well as paying all my mom's home maintenance bills. At around 4 or 5 p.m. I call it a day. After I finish working I like to tidy up because I both work and live here. I remove and pack away the work related items so I really feel that I'm now off the clock. That involves tidying my desktop, sorting out camera equipment etc. Pay attention to sound The one that's coming from your mouth don't mean to turn it upside down I really want to hear you out I can't know how it is To be where you so calmly sit When I'm further my own narrative Catching only part of it To just be To really see I could give you more than half a year If I could give you more than half a year on either side of every single word I write I found you in another line notice all the time it takes to just be Give you more than half a year. If I could give you more than half a Because of the contractors, my evening routine also involves tidying up more than usual in the kitchen for the evening. 
They do a quick vacuum and pick up after themselves before they leave for the day. But I like to check if there are things that need cleaning or sorting out so everything is good to go for them the next day. I'll give you more than half a year. If you want to see the kitchen all done, I'll share more about the remodel in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Once the contractors have left for the day, I open the door from the living room where Bonus and I have hung out during the day. While the floor is papered in the entryway and kitchen, I switch between two pairs of footwear. I wear my fuzzy slippers when I'm in the living room and bedroom, and switch to my Birkenstocks when I'm out in the entryway and kitchen. That keeps my living room floor and above all rug cleaner. Pay attention to sound. It's coming from your mouth Don't mean to turn it upside down I really want to hear you out I can't know how it is To be where you so calmly sit When I'm further my own narrative After the tidying and cleaning is done, I run some errands. Normally I would do that earlier in the day, but because I have the contractors here, I want to make sure Bonus is alright, so I've stayed at home until they've left. I've not been consistent with my morning walk since I moved here. I have so many daily errands around now that I've moved, I need all sorts of things. So instead of a morning walk, I've done my errands on foot, which has been pretty much a daily one or two hour walk in the city center. I'm hoping to get back to my morning walks when the kitchen is done. On this day, I popped by the grocery store and got a salad. If I could give you more than half a year. After I get back home, I get ready to eat. I'm really excited to have a microwave again. It might not yet be installed in the cabinet, but I've missed having one. On this day, I just had that salad for dinner though. When I'm by myself, I most often don't sit at the dining table anyway, so while that's still shoved to one side and covered up, I eat in front of the TV. On weekends I have wine to go with dinner, but weekdays I usually have fizzy water. I like ice in my drinks. There's just something a bit festive about the noise of ice cubes, even if it is just sparkling water with lemon essence. Before I start eating myself, I feed bonus. If I don't, I know he'll make little annoyed noises, so it's better for both of us if he's fat before I start eating. While I eat, I usually watch something on the TV. I don't have patience for movies, so a YouTube video or an episode of a TV show is usually a good length. I'll give you more than half a year. 
After I'm done eating, I currently do the dishes in the bathroom sink. It's all very glamorous. I've made sure I have easy access to all the bits I need, so in this tub I keep a dishwashing kit. It's easy to lift the whole thing out when I take my shower in the morning. I've kept a set of dishes, a set of cutlery, a cutting board and a sharp knife while everything else is packed away. My little kit is kept in this container during the day so it stays dust free. The table is covered by two bath towels for protection and I've put a tarp over everything during the day. When everything else is messy, it's even more important to keep at least a small area nice, like a little haven, during the madness of the renovation. I also make sure to make the bed every day. I have to keep some things from the kitchen in the other rooms, but I try to do that in a tidy and organized way. The kitchen rug is rolled under my bed. The laundry basket is also in the bedroom. The living room at one point housed both the old green kitchen cabinet doors and drawer fronts, as well as the oven and exhaust fan, but luckily I was able to sell them and get them out of the way. I've kept the door from the living room to the kitchen closed during the whole renovation, and that created a little chambre séparée for Bonus's litter box, which has been really practical and kind of cute. A little later I get ready for the night. I'm such a morning person so I'm often in bed by 9, so getting ready for bed at around 8 or 8.30 is quite normal for me. I clean my face and moisturize, but save brushing my teeth until just before I go to bed, so I can still have a snack or drink should I want one. Then I switch from day clothes to comfy PJ pants, t-shirt and a cozy sweater. I watch some more TV, cuddle with bonus, play with my phone, check Instagram, etc. Then I unmake my bed, go around turning lights off, draw the blackout curtains in the bedroom and get ready to go to sleep. And that brings me to the sponsor of this video, Aura. If you followed along for a while you know of my past sleep issues. My biggest problem was falling back to sleep after having been woken up, either by myself or by bonus who enjoys jumping onto my bed at night. I've pretty much tried everything and the best thing I've tried so far is Aura. As you might remember I've already talked about this app in a previous video. Aura is a mindfulness and sleep app that won the Best of Apple award and is used by over 7 million people. It's an all-in-one app for your well-being and sleep, like a Spotify for your mind and soul. There are thousands of meditations, stories, CBT, life coaching and more. Aura's content is created by hundreds of expert coaches and therapists, so you'll find some that resonate with you, I'm sure. I love the sleep meditations and their newest feature, the live sessions with their coaches. 
The sleep meditations have been really helpful in lulling me back to sleep, and I've been waking up more refreshed lately, which has been so great. If you're looking to improve your sleep and more, do try Aura. Get started for completely free on Aura's website using my link in the description box. The first 500 people get a free trial and exclusive 25% off the subscription. And that's been my evening routine during the renovation of my kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate the support. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm excited to share more from my new apartment here in Stockholm in future videos. If you're looking for sources, there's a link in the description box that takes you to my website where I'm collecting them for you. If you'd like to receive my personal monthly newsletter, you can add your email address to the list there as well. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Hej då!